Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Raw. And, uh, it just ended. Uh, and boy oh boy, that ending was freaking awesome. Uh, it was very unexpected though. But I have to say, uh, tonight's edition was... It was a mixed bag. Uh, there was some stuff that I liked, some that I didn't. So, uh... Actually, we're coming. We're coming off of the last night's Raw Rumble with this edition of Raw, and uh, the show opened up with opened up with uh, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens coming out. Owens uh, said that everyone was thinking that he had no choice walking out of last night uh, of you know the match that he had last night with Roman Reigns, uh, you know, coming out as the Universal Champion. And, uh, you know, he proved everyone wrong that he was going to walk out of uh, the Rumble still as the Universal Champion. Uh, he claimed that he is the best and, you know, he's the man, he's the god, he's the one. Uh, he goes on to talk about Jericho's history performance in the Royal Rumble match because, if you all know, uh, Jericho now has uh, the history of, you know, being in... Uh, the Rumble, you know, out of the Rumbles that he participated, uh, he has a uh, record breaking like less than less than like five hours from like all the Rumbles that uh, he participated in, uh, you know, through the years. Uh, he beat out uh, Rey Mysterio and uh, Triple H. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jericho goes on to say that. He's that the reason he didn't win the rumble because he was suffering from vertigo from being in that shark cage last night, and uh, you know then after then uh, Braun Strowman ends up coming out uh, saying to Owens that uh, he wants a match for the Universal Title tonight later on tonight, or else you know he's gonna break Owens in half. Uh, Mick Foley ends up coming out saying that he didn't like what Strowman did last night at the rumble, and that Owens. Uh, last month promised uh, Strowman a title shot. Uh, Foley then uh, makes the match for later on in the night. So later on in the night it's going to be Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens for the Universal title. Uh, but opening segment, this opening segment was, you know, pretty good. You know, it was entertaining, you know, from Jericho and Owens because they're, you know, they're very entertaining with this uh, storyline that they have for them, for them both. Uh, and the first match was Sami Zayn versus Chris Jericho. Uh, it was a pretty good match. Uh, a lot of back and forth action. Uh, really enjoyed uh, the flow of the match. Seeing both of them, you know, in the in this uh, match. But uh, at the end, Sami Zayn came out on top with the with the Halua the Halua kick uh, on Jericho to score the win. So. Overall, it was a pretty good match. And then, uh, after that, we go backstage and we see Bailey with Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, also, Charlotte, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows are there. Uh, it sets off a match between all of them tonight. It's going to be a six uh, mixed person tag team match later on. So. And then after that, we had we see Kevin Owens walks into you know walks into see Stephanie. Uh, Owens is just trying so hard for her to cancel, uh, for her to, or for uh, McFoley to cancel uh, his match against Braun Strowman later on tonight. You know, saying that he went through hell last night with Roman Reigns, and uh, that was pretty much a backstage segment. Uh, next was the cruiserweight match. It was Tony Nese versus Mustafa Ali. Uh, it was an okay match. Uh, you know, it was nothing, uh, nothing great, nothing special though. But uh, Tony Nese ended up getting the win against Mustafa Ali. But uh, it was an okay match, but nothing great, nothing special. And then we get to the uh, the Seth Rollins, the uh, Stephanie. Call, Stephanie calls out Seth Rollins for uh, you know the attack that Rollins did this past Saturday at the NXT Takeover show in San Antonio, where he was out 
where he was called where he invaded NXT, called out Triple H, uh, you know, just wanted to fight, you know, Triple H, but you know, Triple H didn't want to fight him, so Triple H sent it out security uh, to get Rollins out of the arena. So and then just Rollins started punching the security uh, the security people, and so that eventually led to this tonight. Uh, Rollins, call, Rollins ends up calling Triple H a coward because, you know, he wouldn't step face-to-face -face with, uh, with Rollins. Uh, you know, and she, there was one line where uh, Rollins says to Stephanie, he goes, when are you going to let Triple H off his, le off his uh, leash? <laughs> so, which, that was funny, though. And then uh, Steph called Stephanie uh, delusional, saying that she was delusional. Uh, Stephanie wanted Seth to apologize, you know, after what he did to Triple H at TakeOver. Uh, Seth calls uh, Triple H a snake and his legacy is going, going to go up in smoke. And then, uh, surprise, uh, Stephanie announced that uh, Triple H was coming to Raw tonight. Is coming to Raw tonight and, you know, he's going to, you know, talk to... Uh, talk to Rollins or, you know, call out Rollins, which that was really shocking, though. Uh, we didn't even know that Triple H was going to be here uh, tonight. So, but it was a pretty good, it was a good segment. So, and then uh, ba the next match was the six mixed person tag team match. It was Bailey Cesaro and Sheamus versus Charlotte, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows. Uh, was okay. Uh, nothing, no, not great or perfect though, but uh, it was entertaining. Uh, we had a uh, at the end of the match, you had Bailey giving the uh, Bailey to belly on Charlotte to score the win uh, for uh, her Cesaro and Sheamus. But overall. It was an okay match. Nothing, nothing great or perfect, though. And then after that, we had uh, Neville come out and talk about his victory last night at the Rumble, where he beat uh, Rich Swan for the Cruiserweight uh, title. Uh, he said that he proved everyone wrong, and you know he goes on to say that he is the king of the Cruiserweights, and you know he wanted Rich Swan to bow down to him. And then Rich Swan ends up coming out. Saying he's going to wait on his opportunity, his opportunity to get his rematch with Neville for the cruiserweight title. Uh, he admits that he respects Neville uh, about uh, his about their match last night, and Rich Swan offers Neville to shake his hand, but Neville declined. Uh, he offered Rich to bow down to him, and so that eventually led to Neville and uh, Rich just you know taking out each other. He had a uh, Rich Swan go through uh, the second rope onto uh, Neville outside, which was awesome. I, I like how he does. I like how Rich Swan does that. So, but overall, it was a uh, pretty good. Uh, it was a pretty good segment. You know, heel Neville, uh, absolutely uh, great. Uh, he's the best thing of the cruiserweight uh, division so far. You know. With, you know, after he came back at Roblox. So, it was pretty good. Pretty good segment. Uh, and then uh, we had uh, Sasha backstage uh, with the uh, medical official. Uh, he was taping up her uh, taping up her injured knee. Uh, Bailey comes in. Bailey is telling Sasha, you know, for her knee to get better. Uh, before she fights Naya, and then she just, Sasha just, you know, she wants this, this match, she wants this match to still go on, so she offers to, you know, to still have the match. Uh, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho are back, after that, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho are backstage, Owens is still bragging about his match with Strowman, you know, it was back, it was, you know, okay. Okay, backstage segment. Uh, and that eventually led to, when Raw came back from the commercial, it led to 
uh, the match, you know, Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens for the Universal title. Uh, you had Chris Jericho at uh, on the uh, announce at the announcers table, and then before the match, Strowman took out Jericho, put uh, and put him through the announce table. And so it eventually led to Strowman and Owens going at it one on one, and it was just Strowman just you know going on a rampage you know on Kevin Owens. Uh, Harley was a Harley was a match, cause in the end, you know Roman Reigns comes out, uh, just punches, uh, just punches Kevin Owens, uh, you know Superman, but uh, Braun Strowman won the match uh, by DQ. So, and you had a, uh, you know just Roman just spear the hell out of I think it was Braun Strowman. From the, uh, the the steps, which was uh, which was cool. Uh, then after that, uh, unexpected, uh, you know, coming in, uh, Lesnar was in a uh, Lesnar. Brock Lesnar came tonight. Uh, he got out of the van along with Paul Heyman. Uh, they come to the ring. You know, Heyman gets on the mic, does his thing. Crowd starts chanting Goldberg. Uh, Heyman goes on to talk about Andre the Giant and Ronda Rousey, Undertaker, and also Goldberg. You know, just random talk from Heyman. Uh, Paul Heyman says that, you know, Brock wants to have another match with Goldberg and that it's going to take place at WrestleMania, uh, which Goldberg has to accept uh, the uh, invitation if he wants to take on. Uh, Lesnar again at Wrestlemania which I know it's gonna eventually happen and it's gonna have Goldberg and Brock Lesnar at Wrestlemania it's giving me weird vibes of uh, Wrestlemania 20 where it was just them you know locking up doing some moves and then just standing there you know not doing anything you know eventually leading to one of them you know locking up or throwing a punch you know but it's gonna be Wrestlemania 20 all over again uh, with their, with this, if they had this match, so, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, not looking forward to it if, you know, if it's going to happen, which I know eventually will, it's going to be just, here's how it's going to go, probably how the rest, probably how Survivor Series won, probably how last night at the Rumble won, where, you know, you have Goldberg and Lesnar, Goldberg just spears, you know, Lesnar, Jack hammers him, Pin count, end of the match. That's how that WrestleMania match is going to be. That rematch at WrestleMania is going to be. I can tell you that now. Unless if they change it up. You know, not and not, you know, have Goldberg beat Lesnar again in a minute. So. But uh, it was a, this segment was pretty good. You know, it was unexpected that Lesnar was going to be here tonight. You know, after what happened last night. And the next was, uh, the next match was Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. Wasted match. Just, it was just, a, it was, this was just a match to have Nia just destroy Sasha even more. So, uh, but it was funny how the ref, how the timekeeper botched. Because, uh, uh, you know, Sasha didn't tap. And then just the timekeeper just hit the. You know, just rang the bell, and you know, because Nia had uh, si had uh, Sasha in a uh, submission, and you had Bailey come out to help Sasha. Uh, and after that, we had uh, it was Enzo and Big Cass versus uh, Jinder Mahal and Rusev in a tornado tag team match. Which tornado tag team match that doesn't make any sense because. They're not, you know, tagging each other in, you know, back and forth in the ring, you know, like a regular tag team match because it's, you know, tornado style match it has all the, uh, has all the superstars in the ring all at once. But, uh, this was the main event and, uh, it was just a wasted match. I mean, it was, it was good. It was okay, but it was just a waste, uh, cause yeah, Enzo and Big Cass, 
uh, win the match uh, against Jinder Mahal and Rusev. Even I knew before you know before this match even took place, I I knew Enzo and Big Cass was going to win this match. <laughs> Jinder and Rusev are jobbers, <laughs> so. But all in all, it was okay, but it was a waste of a match. And then you had a, you know, to close out Raw, Triple H arrives, and this was probably the highlight of the night, which I'll get to. Uh, Triple H arrives, comes out, starts talking about Seth Rollins on, you know, how he helped him, you know, when he won the, you know, when uh, he when Rollins was in NXT, he won the title, and then you know how. Triple H made uh, Rollins, you know, hold the, you know, the WWE title. Uh, he also called Seth a massive failure, and it was all because of uh, Triple H. Uh, you know, Triple H even stated that, you know, he was the reason why Seth Rollins was a failure. Uh, Triple H uh, ends up calling out Seth Rollins, and you know, Seth Rollins comes, comes out. You know, he tries to get to Triple H to get in the ring, but out of nowhere, unexpected, Samoa Joe from NXT comes and then just starts taking out Rollins, uh, just destroying him, you know, and I guess what Triple H said tonight, you know, he was trying to find the next Seth freaking Rollins, and I think Samoa Joe is, you know, the next guy uh, to be that, you know, to, to be that Seth Rollins. And it was really unexpected to see Samoa Joe. I marked out a little bit. I was like, holy shit, that's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is on Raw. Holy shit. Then I was like, holy shit. Because it was such a shock. It was totally unexpected that Samoa Joe was going to be was gonna be on Raw tonight. You know, it was really, uh, like I said, really unexpected. I have no other words to uh, say about that. But, you know, just Samoa Joe just takes out Rollins, you know, destroys him. And, you know, it leaves Samoa Joe the last one standing in the ring to end uh, Raw. So, but that it was really awesome to see Samoa Joe. It was really, really awesome. Uh, and I have to say, that was the highlight of, that was the highlight of the night tonight uh, on this edition of Raw. So, yeah, so anyways... That's it for my review of tonight's edition of Raw. Uh, thank you all for watching and stay tuned tomorrow night for my review of SmackDown. And uh, until that video, tomorrow night, I'll see you all later.